based on the based on the what based on the class and gender but now we want to run it based on the uh, age to be as a control manner that's why when you uh, learn about uh, controlling co-founders and whatsoever this is how they are doing it uh. basically they are uh, run the model first we call it as the macam crude odd and then adjusted odd you know adjusted means that they put some other variables to justify the component if this kind of variable is being interfered in the models so that's why in my models the crude of course just now female is 12 right but we we will see after this what will happen if we run it um, again this one with the age and fair whether it is similar or it is different okay so i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to rerun it again together together so i'm going to rerun these two things uh, together so i think this one is similar like the previous uh, syntax so i'm just going to rerun both of it okay i'm going to uh, click the run uh, okay i'm so sorry about this i have to rerun again to make sure it's clear Okay, and then I'm going to export this output so that I can explain it to you. Okay, and then um, let us make the um, let us make the interpretations. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my output. So this is the first model, right? This is our first model where we take into consideration without element of age and element of fair. You see, and then we proceed with the more um, comprehensive model where we put the age and also the fair as one of the co-founding variables that we also considered because um, when you age are so young that means the probability and odd of the chances to be survived also is very high why because you are children of course you are being prioritized as compared if you are old okay therefore you can cross down here block zero is what null so you see your null is 59 percent that's mean the correct classification is sort of acceptable but is that improved or not you have to look and see on the model block number one you see the omnibus test indicate the model is fit the negative square also indicate uh, acceptable which is okay 40 percent something like that can be explained of this thing osmo let me show um not not really not really very very good lah but i would say acceptable and then you can see here this one 97 and 92 what is the difference? It's around 5, right? You compare with the first model just now. So, the first model is what? The first model, 1, 2, 8 until 1, 1, 9. What is the difference between these two? 1, 2, 8 minus 1, 1, 9. What is the difference? It's around 9. So, which one is better? The down here is better, right? Because the similarity to the predicted and also the expected much more closer. This one, 97, 92. The difference only 5. The previous one is 9. So, which one is much more better? The model will be the contingency table of Homer's law and Lemon Show test. This is why we need to do this kind of things when you want to run the logistics. You want to see the previous model without you insert any controlling co-founders and then this one is much more better. Okay? Much more fitting the models. And then the previous one is 59. Now, it's become 78. So, it's still acceptable. But the previous model is 79. No, no much argument on that. But this is the beautiful things. Because we want to see whether it is improved or not. You see, the passenger class, if you insert the value of the age, it's become increased. Just now, it's become 5. But now, it's become 9. It's significantly adjust based on the crude odd and the adjusted odd. That means, if you put the model according to the age, it is slightly improved. That means, the probit logic of passenger who are staying in the class number 1, have the odds of chances of surviving nine times where their increase of probit logic 2.2 times will increase the 9.5 times of surviving of the odds and this one is significantly um significantly uh, statistically significant we call it adakah statistics or not statistically significant passenger class lo class 2 is slightly no different because just now is 2.2 but now is 2.7 it's no different gender also is slightly no different and then what about the age you see the null of the exponential b means what one is your null more than one is the odd of surviving is good so this one h means that is minus you see that's mean if you have older if you older that's mean your odd surviving lower manil orang tua matilah senang cerita budak-budak selamat yang inilah sebab apa dia ada negatif 
That's mean your you increase your age, your odd of surviving will be below than one. Below than one means that you are not probabilitally survive. You are probabilitally <laughs> not survive. Means that in the probable manner you are not have a chance to survive, but you have chance to not survive. And what to read is actually the value here is minus. What is minus stand for? Is negative. You increase the value of the age, then it will sort of decrease the odd of chances to get survive. That's mean if you are older, bye bye. You also will become one of the almayan inside the uh, oceanic sea over there during the Titanic season. That is how we want to interpret. And then the fair. We can see the fair. The exponential b is one. What does that mean? Null. It's nothing to do with the fair. You pay how many pot? It's nothing to do. But the uh, the the things that actually um count or the things that is actually matters is actually your class, your passenger class. If you are staying in the passenger class number one and two, then you are in heaven lah because you can survive. And if you are female on that time, wow, you also can survive. And if you are young. Especially if you are children, you also can survive. But if you are like myself, uh, I'm I'm not staying in the passenger class one example. I'm not staying in the passenger class two example. I'm um, not um, young people example, and I'm not a female. Bye bye. I'm one of the not survive list. Uh, you see, this is how we want to make a prediction based on the logistic models. Okay. Any question? Remember.